heavy rains, strong winds, even snow as wild weather lashes the state. A Rosewater man pleads for the life of his dog impounded after an attack. Crowds rush to the water to save a stranded whale. And a star crow in Downers, Gary Adler, who's ruled out for the season. This is Adelaide's Nine News with Kate Collins and Brenton Lepris. Good evening. Amateur video has captured the mother. The Stepney father was handcuffed by police only metres from where his young son was fighting for life. This afternoon, David Janzow faced a bedside hearing charged with murder. A mobile phone shows the most shocking of crime scenes. 36-year-old David Janzow placed in handcuffs on a roadside as he watches paramedics desperately try to save his three-year-old son, Luca. I'm really sad for the little boy. Really, makes me really cry. The vision was captured around 9am yesterday, half an hour after Janzow left the family home at Stepney with Luca. Police say he stopped at an unrelated car accident at Appleton and told officers his son was in his ute injured. Despite frantic efforts by paramedics, he died of multiple stab wounds to his torso and neck shortly after arriving at the Women's and Children's Hospital. It's just such a horrible thing to have happened to a family. And shocking for everyone who knows them. Janzow, now charged with murder, runs a landscaping business. I'm Dave, I don't know what legal grass is that. And posted loving photos of his children on social media just days ago. We're devastated to hear what happened. Uh, we're a community here and uh, we just hope the family is um, coping okay. I will never expect when this street happens to so I'm very sorry for this street. The Prince Alfred College community also in mourning. Janzow is a former student. Little Luca attended the school's early learning classes. We're just feeling a loss um, and uh, we're, we're shocked by it. Great, well-liked boy. Um, you know, a lovely little kid. The school has offered staff, students and families counselling. Janzow remains at the Royal Adelaide Hospital where he faced a bedside hearing this afternoon. So Eddie got through now and Eddie, what happened at the hearing? Brenton, it was a 